What's up YouTube? Wade and Swish here from Ohio Gamers and we're making a video about Loot Crate and we subscribed the last three months of Loot Crate. It cost us roughly I think $50-$55 dollars, but we split it between the two of us so not too bad if you want to split it up with our roommate and whatnot. And if you don't know what Loot Crate is, Swish is going to explain it over here in a little bit. But uh, this is October, the theme was fear. This is November, the theme was uh, battle, and that's December, and the theme was anniversary. So I'm going to give it over to Swish here so I can kind of tell you a little more details about Loot Crate. Yeah, basically how it works, you subscribe, and they have a couple different payment plans on their site. There's a one month, three month, six month, there might even be a 12 month. You know, go on, check it out yourself. There's, we're going to put a link in the description below. Uh, but you basically pick your payment plan. It's going to cost you roughly $12 a month, plus shipping and handling. Uh, so yeah, me and Wade did the three-month plan. Uh, overall, it cost us about $55, which wasn't too bad because the cool part is you can split it with the roommate, so it costs us $20-ish each. Not really that bad, and we got some pretty cool stuff, actually. Um, you know, typically the crates come with a t-shirt, uh, a comic, and a couple collectibles. I'm actually wearing one of the t-shirts right here. It's a skull made out of cats and it came with the October crate. Um, yeah, your crate's gonna arrive every month on the 20th. Uh, as you can see, they vary in size and color. There's all these cool different themes going on. Um, yeah, but everyone gets the same box pretty much, except for there's an exception. Something really cool that Loot Crate does is they give away a mega crate every month, and the mega crates are just Wow, what's the mega crates are really cool. Yeah, they um they range. I I would say in price ranges, I see things that are anywhere from the crate itself probably has anywhere from fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars worth of stuff in it. Um, I know one week or one month, they gave away a twenty five hundred dollar computer, and then they also give away things like kind of random things like a gaming chair that's like three hundred fifty dollars. So they do that, and also they have mini crates, which some I believe they either give ten or twenty away a month, depending on the month. Where there's anywhere from like up to a thousand dollars worth of stuff, which would be, I would take it if they get sent it to me. Oh yeah, um, yeah. And then I think with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and give you a countdown of our top five favorite items we've gotten. For our first item, we want to show you it's a chainsaw sledgehammer from Dead Rising, and we actually just discovered this a little bit ago, but it is a pen. So you can use it to write some kick-ass essays in class or just to impress your friends. The second item we found really cool, or should, I, or should I say items, was the Walking Dead items that we got. And as you can see, there's some really cool fan art here of Daryl and his brother Merle, who has just turned into a biter. And we also got a Walking Dead comic here by Skybound Comics. And I'm actually not a Walking Dead reader, but I'm a big fan of the show, and it's got some really cool stuff in it. The third item we found really cool was this Assassin's Creed Unity coin. On one side it says Assassin's Creed Unity, and one side has the Assassin's logo on it. Uh, this is by no means a flimsy coin. It's really strong and durable, and it pays homage to the French Revolution, and it also comes in a really cool keepsake case. The first item we want to show you from December's Loot Crate are these socks. Usually they give you a shirt but they gave us socks this month and these are from the Guardian of the Galaxy Marvel and this is Groot and as you can see the tree here and it says I am Groot on them. The last item which we got from the December loot crate was the Joker Batman Batman little statue here. He's actually pop vinyl. I don't know if you guys know what this is but I have a really cool collection of them so I was super excited. I was even more excited that it was DC Comics. I'm a big DC guy. I know way too big Marvel guy but uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't know what the Joker Batman Batman is from. If you know, please let me know. I'm anxious to know. I don't think it's from any of the official canon or comics, but we did get one of these really cool Batman Endgame comics that came with it, so maybe there's something in there to that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Swish. And I'm Wade. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video, and also follow us on Twitter right here.